I want to show you the latest thing that I've done with my greenhouse. It's a cooling and ventilation system. Just a test. I've got a couple of makeshift fans blowing out the side. And on the inside, I have an evaporative cooling pad on the wall. Three foot by five foot cooling pad down here. I have a water sump tank. This is an 800 gallon per hour pump. It's one of the Hydroform active aqua pumps. So it pumps up the pipe, half inch pipe. A shutoff valve to regulate it, but I won't need any regulation. The pump actually has a regulation. And then it trickles across the top. The half inch pipe, there's a quarter inch hole about every three inches, maybe, all the way across the pad. And it seems to saturate the pad pretty well with water. The, the pad seems to be nice and wet. And it goes, trickles down to the bottom into the other rain gutter. It goes across and out the drain pipe back into the bucket. Eventually, I'm going to have a bigger sump tank with a float valve to shut the water off and on to keep the water at a constant level because the water evaporates quite a bit. So I used a couple of uh, four and a half inch rain gutters and up on the top I cut a slot about every 12 inches. There's some area for the water to trickle down. And the problem is I don't have the right exhaust fan. I just have these makeshift blowers. These old box fans probably pumping 500 or less CFM. For this size greenhouse, this is a 12 by 14 greenhouse. I should need about 1,500 or less cubic feet per minute of exhaust flow. According to the formula, you take length times width times height probably about seven or eight feet high and that's how you get your CFMs. But right now with the weak fans it's not cooling the way it's supposed to and ventilating the way it's supposed to. It should feel airflow all the way across here. And when I do, the plants will like it. They like ventilation be able to regulate the temperature down and keep it in here about 75 or 80 degrees maybe. These evaporative cooling pads will cool uh, at least 20 to 30 degrees below whatever the outside temperature is. So I'll do another video when I get the exhaust fans set up. But this is the way to go. This is the way the commercial greenhouses do it. They turn an entire wall into an evaporative cooling pad. And these cooling pads, this is five feet wide and three feet high. It's actually uh, five one foot wide panels that are stacked together. And I bought them on the internet for about $15 pad for one one foot by three foot pad was fifteen dollars. A 
placed in Arizona called uh, metal form. They come in uh, different widths and different heights. But for the area that I had, that's what I did. It should should be sufficient once I get the right the right exhaust fan.